The housing market has been red hot this year and not just home sales and home prices, also housing related stocks. Just look at Trulia, the online real estate company. I'm here with CEO Pete Flint. Trulia does have a business relationship with CNN Money. Just wanted to mention that. Thanks for joining us. And let's talk about how well your company has been doing since its IPO. Obviously, a lot of comparisons to two other stocks that have also done well, Zillow and Move. Talk about how you see Trulia as different from Zillow, because you do often get lumped in together. Yes, yeah, so like you said, we've had um, we've been public for about a year, um, and we've just had a great debut as a public company. So one of the top performing IPOs of 2012. You know, I think the just the, the view on the landscape. So the industry has evolved from being one of providing just data to being a mobile platform and providing mobile insights. And Trulia is the leader of providing those tools for consumers, giving consumers much more than just a database of homes, giving consumers information about crime information, school information, all the insights that you need to purchase. In addition, we have a, the way that business model is based on providing marketing services to the real estate industry. So we recently acquired a company called Market Leader, which is the leading provider of software tools to the real estate industry. So combined with Trulia's marketing services for real estate agents, with Market Leader's software tools for real estate agents, we've got the leading set of tools for the real estate industry, both marketing and software, and then also the largest number of subscribers in the industry, of subscribers from the real estate industry is purchasing our, our products. Right, now how important is this transition from the desktop, people used to going to a site like yours or Zillow to look up what a house price is in their neighborhood to doing this now really pretty, pretty much on a phone or a tablet. Yeah, it's transformed our, our category, no doubt about it. And it's not just a better consumer experience, which is accelerating our growth. So we've seen 100% year over year growth in mobile usage on our platform, but we also make more money as a company as our business migrates to mobile. So real estate agents that purchase our subscription products spend more money when they're marketing on mobile devices. And then also it's a, it's a, the consumers have more insight. So they're in the neighborhood, they can imagine their kids playing in the front yard. They can visualize the street. They can see, is this a home that I'd like to live in? In a way that you can't from the desktop. So mobile has been a tremendous accelerant and we're able to monetize that. A lot of concern lately about what's been happening with mortgage rates. They have been climbing up, still at historic, near you know, historic lows, but many people wondering whether or not the Federal Reserve finally begins its tapering of quantitative easing, and will that put even more pressure on mortgage rates yeah. and maybe kill off this housing recovery? Are you worried about that, or do you think those fears are overblown? Well, the, the company, truly, we started in 2005. So we've ridden just a really challenging housing market. And the reason that we've done well is that we could give consumers information and have highly uh, effective marketing solutions to real estate agents. Now we're clearly where we are in, in 2013, we're, in the, uh, we've, we're into the emergence of a, a, a growth environment in the housing market. We're seeing sales tick up slightly, although held back by inventory and prices tick up. You know, the, as you say, the question is, what's going to happen to um, the housing market? Is the housing market going to stall if, uh, if market rates start to tick up? And we don't think so. We think that given where mortgage rates are at historic lows, as the economy starts to recover, what we've seen historically is that mortgage rates might increase alongside the overall economic growth. Consequently, that economic growth offsets any effective cost of home ownership, increased cost of home ownership due to mortgage rates.